Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Divan. Welcome to Skyler.com. The topic of my presentation today is nephrotic and nephritic syndrome. Often confusing terms, we have to differentiate between these two. So we will differentiate them on the basis of their structure, their functions, their pathogenesis and their treatment even. So let's start with the structural differentiation between these two. We will discuss what a glomerulus is. What are the number of glomeruli in a person? How does pathogenesis occur in a glomeruli? What pathology leads to nephrotic syndrome and what pathology leads to nephritic syndrome? Then we will study what is the mechanism of injury in this whole process. How does that injury occur which leads to the pathological consequences of nephrotic and nephritic syndrome? Then we will start with nephrotic syndrome. What are the etiological factors? What are the consequences? What are the pathogenesis of the nephrotic syndrome? What is going to happen in a diagnostic test? How do we confirm it and how do we treat it? Then we're going to talk about equally we're going to talk about nephritic syndrome that what causes the nephritic syndrome? How do we diagnose it? What's the pathogenesis? What are we going to look for in the body on a clinical way? And what is the treatment option available for nephritic syndrome? And then we're going to differentiate between these two from cellular level to the clinical level. What's the difference between nephrotic and nephritic syndrome? As both of them are glomerular diseases, how do we differentiate them? So we will talk about what are the basic differences from structural differences to functional and pathogenical differences between these two. Getting the whole lecture, please subscribe to sky.com.